guys welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome if it's your first time here my name is Ruth Kim and today as you can see from the title we are going to go for shopping or we are going to do shopping because today it's Thursday and from tomorrow we are starting the Easter weekend so we need food we need food stuff for Easter and I have visitors if you haven't watched my last video or my last post on Instagram by the way do you guys follow me on Instagram yes i have one of the biggest youtubers or i'm hosting one of the biggest youtubers in germany this easter so guys stay tuned to watch these easter vlogs yeah i hope i'll be that motivated to post the vlogs anyway guys we are going insta shopping i'm going to show you guys around and then maybe i'll show you when i get back home what i've shopped thank you Every time I could call you mine mm. I don't know why I'm being the one Feeling stupid, I'm feeling stupid now mm. So now it's time for the goodbyes Everything does all this So guys, as you can see, we are going to Lidl yes it's a hustler supermarket it's a discount supermarket and as you know the economy is very bad at the moment things are very very expensive so let's go and look what we are going to find i hope we find everything because we're also planning to cook chapels and stuff so to hope to tapata So the first thing I picked was these tulips. Yeah, you see they are diff they have different colors and it was going for 4 euros 99 cents. Mm -hmm. And then I needed some cornflakes for the kids. It was going for 1 euro 99 cents as you can see here. And then I found these beautiful strawberries, but going for three euro ninety nine cent, and they were on sale. Wow, they're so beautiful. I hope they taste the way they look. And then I saw the uh, the blueberries. I grabbed them as well, going for three euros ninety nine cents for a kg. And then you can never go wrong with some lemons going for one euro 29 cents i picked some mandarins mandarine going for one euro 99 cents and then avocado if you know me guys you know i'm a lover of avocados they were going for one euro and 11 cents and they are hers from spain yes guys if you haven't watched my avocado videos i have two of them go watch them Mimi na avocado, watcha tu. Guys, there's one thing I don't understand about passion fruits in Germany. They are super, super expensive. As you can see, we have three, three, three uh, pieces, dry to going for almost two euros. So, if you have an opportunity to farm passion fruit and import, kindly do it. A very good deal in germany very expensive so we are not going to buy that one is bread going for one euro 19 cents and then guys i've never bought papayas here in germany but they are always so expensive three euros and 49 cents and then i saw these like small buns the golden one they are always crunchy you just put them in the oven and you're good to go i grabbed two bunches bananas marigo goes always marigo marigo no mohaka so 
I grabbed some bananas. So, and then I uh, I grabbed these mixed paprika, like mixed uh, green bells. Or how do you call them? Ho ho. And then I grabbed some pears. Eliana loves them, especially when they are crunchy. They were going for one euro fifty nine cents. So mangoes, they were very expensive. Yeah, sorry, mangoes, but pass. I don't know why, but ever since I started eating mushrooms, it's a must. Like in a week, I grabbed two pieces, going for one euro and eighty nine cents. And then I'm planning to make some salad this weekend especially on um, uh, pilau day and the salad was going for one euro 39 cent i saw this cucumber cucumber looks very interesting <laughs> Anywho. guys i don't i don't know if i'm overreacting but i feel like the cogets are very expensive like three euro 99 cent package anyway <laughs> then i some i grabbed some onions spring onions for mukimo going for 79 euros 79 cents sorry Whew. and i wanted to pick some nyanyas it's going for three euro and 59 cents package crazy that's why you can see me removing the stock here like mokori because i don't want it to add the weight to the nyanyas to the uh potatoes hey magana mana nyanya idano anyways the life hmm So I picked some garlic. Garlic is always good. Going for one euro and twenty nine cents. And then I picked this cabbage. I love this cabbage because it's soft and it was going for one euro seventy nine cent package. So if it's heavier, it costs more. And then I picked the white onions because I always love the red ones and my guests want to have the white ones and now i'm picking some sweets for the kids you know it's easter holiday and we have to spoil them yes and then i saw these aerial uh, washing detergent and i had to pick it it was on sale going for 10 euros 9 euros 99 cents at this point i just wanted to show you guys that there is no oil there's no oil in the supermarket apart from the most expensive one and this is where the normal oil is going for one euro 79 cent and it's the counter is empty as you can see guys it's empty guys you know what else was missing rice normally i get basimati rice from lidl but this time there was only a 5 kg gram basimati rice from kai i don't know which company is that 500 grams going for one euro and 49 cents this is crazy this is crazy there's no rice and you know africans guys we are rice lovers so i decided to pick this typical german rice this long rice and a 500 gram basimati rice i grabbed some uh, peanuts for the movie nights going for 99 cents And then I saw some cookies. They're always good. I love these Leibniz cookies. But not the dark ones. So I saw some eggs. 18 pieces. Like 18 eggs inside this box. And then I grabbed two of them. Because Easter is all about eggs. I don't know why. So don't ask me. But people love eating eggs in, during Easter. Control. You have to control if the eggs are broken or they they are all in. And then there's this uh, unga ugali, vice and grace is what we used to cook ugali here in Germany. This one is in plenty. So tutakula ugali, tuhua nane nayo, tufanane nayo. I 
I grab two packets of sugar. Sugar is also in plenty. There's enough sugar. Salt is also there. Going for 29 cents. And then here is where I got the ungayangano. I picked two, but here they've written that you only take two uh, packages or two packets per house. So the person behind my camera had to take two pieces. So we left with four pieces in total, but they're not selling more than two pieces per house. Cream is always good. Going for 69 cents. I picked two. So apple juice is always good. You can never go wrong with apple juice. I picked some uh, sugar, sugar powder for the muffins. And then I wanted to make pancakes with uh, a mixed atta flour or dinkel meal and the white one so i picked this one then I, I saw this rama margarine that you can also use to bake and cook and i was like if there's no oil then maybe i can use this one to cook so it was going for two euros 99 19 cent and i grabbed two I saw some M&M's with peanuts. <laughs> this one was party M&M's going for 7 euros something. And I grabbed it. It's also good for dinner nights. I saw some Easter pasta. This one, they're very cute for kids. So some Star Soft Weichbüller. It was on sale going for 2 euros 49 cents. I grabbed two. Then I saw some cheese. I also grabbed one. Maybe we're going to have some pasta, and it was going for one euro ninety nine cents. So guys, there's there was this offer of uh, like six kitchen papers going for four euro and twenty cents, and I thought, why not? I grabbed some ice cream. Summer is coming. Going for two euro ninety nine cents, and then I saw this big XXL package of tissues. Going for five euros and forty nine cents, I grabbed one. I saw some waste papers and I grabbed one. Going for sixty five cents. I needed some salt. I grabbed this detergent. I normally use it to clean my floor. Going for, for, for 2 euros 45 cents. And as you can see guys, at this point I'm at the counter. And my shopping trolley was to the beam so i was expecting to pay more than 250 euros but to my surprise wait and see the receipt or wait and hear how much i paid guys who at this point can you guess how much i'm going to pay for all this stuff As you can see guys the supermarket is like almost empty like there are no buyers but this is not normal at all it's i think it's because it was around noon it was 11 or some minutes to 12 and most people are working so don't think that the supermarkets are always like this hey especially before a long weekend uh -uh. 
eh, eh. but i was lucky and i chose the best time so i was like stress-free and i didn't have to queue a lot anywho hey <laughs> hey so guys as you can see we did a very huge shopping easter shopping and to my surprise i was expecting that they were going to go up up to 100 euros and i only paid 145 euros is it is it, is that not god <laughs> but i think nikawaida sometimes you go like shopping you just want to pick a few things and then you pick stuff you end up paying a lot of money but this time god and a journey easter and it's the middle of the month so the only thing that was disappointing is that they don't have rice they don't have basmati rice so we got this typical german spitzen long corn it's like what's long 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 corn long rice namna jesus wa africa tunapenda mchele Anyway, and we wanted to make pilau, pilau mixed with long corn. It, I think it's going to work. Mm -mm. Not in the To date a German guy, and then he was so organized such that other kwa kase a supermarket, everything had to be arranged in order. Delicate things at the end, so you start with big stuff like these one things that are not going to get broken. In the car, you pack things in order because the freezer, because the hapa matunda. Hmm? That was too much for me. You don't ask me why I left. It. Hey, I'm telling you, 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 I'm bathroom everything so one time i drove with you with the whole mobile and then i washed my hand in this small wash packing what's wash packing sink uh, uh, this small sink and then i forgot to dry it up like after washing your hand you have to clean the sink and then dry it up hey this is a camping truck the whole mobile as you can see I don't have any mask on. Hey, Germany mask is very chilly. So I'm kind of feeling bad for the guys who are doing mask. <laughs> But just on my home as it ends up in here, what? So guys, just finished unpacking the stuff that I bought from the supermarket. I didn't I did not see the the urge to show you guys again the stuff i picked because you saw what I bought from the supermarket. But I've already prepared dinner and to be honest. The stuff were cheaper than I expected. And the only thing that I, I didn't manage to get was rice. 
there was no rice in the supermarket i even went to river after uh, i finished up with the other supermarket i went to a different supermarket and there was no rice and then cooking oil there is no cooking oil guys so you can just see the effect of the war the economy has changed anyways let me show you guys what i cooked uh by the way i've already prepared dinner and this is the new gadget the newest gadget in this uh, kitchen it's a uh, croups cook for me and in it i'm actually preparing the chicken kenyeji zoop and hoon it has a pressure cooker function as you can see and i'm going to pressure cooker the chicken for only 10 minutes as you can see it's only two minutes remaining and in the meantime the mokimo is ready and on the other side i'm preparing the stew to cook with the chicken Whoa, guys hey this youtube stuff is going to cause damage hmm? that cause damage so when the chicken comes from the pressure cooker because it's only water inside there then i'm going to dip it in these zoos hmm? in this stew and then we're going to have chicken stew and then i'm going to prepare cabbage or steamed cabbages so guys in 10 minutes you have your chicken ready anyways Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Baby, what are you going to do?